Welcome back to a new video from Mountain Moving Prayers. Rejection is a painful and cruel reality that everyone faces at one time or the other in their lives. Whether we like it or not, rejection is something that everybody will have to overcome in their journey of life. When rejection has managed to make us unhappy, hopeless and inactive in life, then prayer can be a very good first step to bring about healing and deliverance. So let's agree and come together to pray with one heart and mind in dealing with rejection. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, as I come before you today, I lift up in prayer all my brothers and sisters who have joined me to pray. All the painful moments they suffered for being turned down and rejected, I surrender to you. All the partiality, exclusion and rejection they faced right from their infancy at home, to their childhood at school, to their teens in college and to their youth and adulthood in their workplaces and in society at large, I offer to you. Lord, before your presence, I recall not only the rejections they faced, but also the benefits and rewards and their due rights which was curtailed and withheld from them. O righteous Father, if it is your will that we should be strengthened and empowered to reach greater heights through such suffering, then in according to the scripture in 1 Corinthians 10.13, Show us your faithfulness and open our mind to see the way that you have prepared for us to endure it and overcome it. O faithful God, fulfill this truth in us that no testing has overtaken us that is not common to everyone. God is faithful and He will not let us be tested beyond our strength, but with the testing, He will also provide the way out so that we may be able to endure it. O Lord, the God of hope, fill us with all joy and peace in believing so that we may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. O Spirit of the living God, come and fall afresh upon us. Anoint us with your mighty power and empower us to make progress in life despite of all rejections, oppressions and injustice. Lord, let these sufferings become instruments to make us strong intellectually, emotionally, physically and spiritually. Let all the pains and hurts work together for our good and manifest the glory of God in our lives. Holy God, our loving Father, do not allow all the sting of rejection to break us. Do not allow rejection to defeat us. Do not allow us to respond to rejection with inaction, sorrow, depression and addiction and unhealthy relationships. My God, do not let the pain of rejection to drive us in the path of darkness, sin and death. Increase our faith, O Lord, and our faith will be increased. O Blessed Father, as your presence strengthened the faith and resolve of Joseph in the land of Egypt and prepared him to receive the highest glory in the presence of Pharaoh, 
I ask you to increase our faith and open our spiritual senses to recognize your presence and the great things that you are about to do in our lives. Give us the grace to exercise our faith and get a glimpse and taste of all the beautiful things that you have prepared and kept for us. O God, reveal to us in our spirit the great plan that you have for our lives so that we may not suppress, ignore, deny, resist or resent the rejections and exclusions that are forced upon us. Instead, help us to have full assurance and confidence in you so that we can say, If God himself is for me, who can stand against me? Who can be my enemy and win over me by excluding me when God is on my side? The Lord God Almighty has opened a new door for me through the flesh of Jesus Christ. He has made a new way for me through the blood of Jesus. There is no one who can close all doors before me. There is no one who can continuously make me stumble and prevent me from reaching the glorious destination designed for me through the atoning sacrifice of the Lamb of God. Sovereign Lord, you are our helper. You have given me the privilege to receive your help and guidance because you truly love and care for us. When you are with us and supporting us, we will not fear. We will not be afraid to look at the rejections and exclusions in the eye. We will no longer feel limited or lacking resources or out of our comfort zones in meeting these sufferings because the Lord himself is our strength, might and comfort. O God, as you derive great pleasure to glorify us, enable us to greatly delight and enjoy the journey set before us. Fill us with new hope so that we may not overly criticize, judge and blame ourselves for the rejections and failures. O God, give us your word and guide us to silence the constant inner voice of negativity and accusation coming against us. Give us the sword of the Spirit to fight back mentally and spiritually and not let rejections and exclusions to define us of who we are in this world and in the kingdom of God. O God of compassion, let your compassion reign in our hearts and minds. Let the power of compassion enable us to overcome the unjust opinions and atrocious labels that some people have tagged us with. Help us to know ourselves worth by looking at Christ Jesus upon the cross at Golgotha. Enlighten us with the truth that through the rejection and acceptance of Christ, we have found peace, reconciliation and acceptance from the one person who matters above all persons. O God, as we thank you for sending your Son Jesus to set us free from all rejections, we also ask you to give us the new heart and the new spirit in Christ so that we can use all our bitter and hurtful experiences of rejection to learn the greatest lesson of life. Lead us to know and experience the greatest truth that when you yourself have embraced us and accepted us, it doesn't matter 
who rejects us or excludes us for you o god have not only embraced us and accepted us but you will also lead us in triumphant procession glorifying the blessed name of jesus with which you have sealed us for your eternal glory now and forever amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen all glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen thank you for listening and praying along with me please support our work by subscribing to the channel and help us to serve more people through this prayer ministry by sharing the videos god bless you